Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So today I've come out to the Brecon Beacons, pretty incredible place. And the purpose of this trip today isn't so much about the photos, it's to do about an eight kilometer hike, really to test out the camera I'm filming with right now, which is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, really with the goal of seeing if this is something that is viable as kind of a main camera option for trips like this. All right, so uh, gaining some ground here now. I've got to pull my map out and actually see where the trail is because it's pretty overgrown up here. But uh, this basically skirts around, goes up on the ridges there behind me. But before it gets to that, it actually stops by this Canadian War Memorial uh, from World War II. There was a, a bomber, World War II bomber with Canadian crew that crashed out here. So uh, see if we can find that, get moving.
back to the video in a second, just have to quickly talk about the sponsor today, which is Squarespace. As a photographer, a website is a really great way to showcase your work, but one of my favorite things is to use it to help experiment with new projects, and Squarespace makes it incredibly easy to do just that. They have really tasteful, clean templates to choose from that are also very intuitive and easy to use, which is important. And whenever I'm working on something new, I love that I can easily create a gallery page drag images onto it to upload them, and then click and drag to reorganize. It's a really great way to sequence things and get a feel for how a body of work is coming together. And often I find I get a lot of inspiration from this. They also offer other great features like online shops, so you can sell prints of your work or books and other things like that. So check out squarespace.com today for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can use my link below to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, originally, I was just gonna share this video as I was editing, though I thought it could be helpful to just talk about a couple of things really quick. So um, first off is the addition of a log profile on the new iPhone. Obviously, that's a big appeal for people when it comes to uh, shooting video. And that's what sold me on the new 15. For years and years and years, I had an Apple iPhone 8. I never really felt that uh, intrigued by the other ones just because the footage always had this like crazy baked in over sharpening and also no log profile uh, to give you some flexibility during grading. But I will say this, in my opinion, really changes things and makes this a tool that not only can you go and like mesh with other cameras, say like a Fuji X-H2S, uh, but even just use on its own and feel really good about the footage. I was that happy uh, with the footage that came out of this. I found it grades really nice. All of that over sharpening has gone. Uh, the log image behaves like, you know, a, a log footage out of any other kind of like more affordable cinema camera. And even the dynamic range is quite impressive considering the smaller sensor size. So really, really cool to see this. Um, and then I went for the Pro Max version for the battery life. I filmed from like 7 a.m. till 4 p.m., still had battery life left, and even had storage left. I had a 512 gig uh, memory is what I went for, shooting ProRes 422 HQ, and I didn't fill it up. And that was banking quite a bit of footage. I think it was like 100 clips, everything said and done. So uh, cool to see, could go and use this like I would any other camera, and I didn't have to add on like a hard drive and stop and charge it, which is was kind of one of my concerns going into this. Um, and then I just use a couple cheap accessories uh, for now. I didn't want to go and invest in like an expensive case and filter system until I knew if I was going to use this quite often. So I just got this little cheap clamp on very ND, which is fine, did a decent job. There are some weird reflections with the wide lens and I kind of question the quality when it comes to sharpness uh, from the glass. Uh, but it just allowed me obviously to lock in at a 48th of a second and then control my exposure using this. Uh, and then I just had a cheap phone clamp off Amazon with a quarter 20 on the bottom so I could mount to a tripod. And then I wore just a little Tascam portable recorder and then synced up the audio when I needed it in post. I, I used a bunch of sound effects as well. And then just use the Blackmagic Design camera app uh, for controls. I absolutely love this. I think it's so cool that they made this and also released it for free, which is amazing. Uh, this obviously just gives you a bunch of professional controls. You can lock in settings, you can add aspect ratio markers and uh, you know LUTs for monitoring, manual focus, do a bunch of stuff. So this app really uh, changes how you use this as a tool and makes it like a lot more of a professional feel. So a couple accessories, you know, the Black Magic app, and it gives you this little pocket camera, ProRes 422. 4K log stabilization, three lenses. But honestly, crazy what we have nowadays. It's like a reminder of kind of how spoiled we are with technology. So um, anyways, really glad I did this. It's like a little bit of like a fun challenge at the start, but I come out of this now actually feeling really confident uh, and inspired to use this as a tool moving forward. Not gonna replace the Fuji, but uh, I wouldn't hesitate to Certainly film B-roll on this or even grab this and film an entire trip if I wanted to pack lighter. So anyways, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Some log clips below for download if you want to try them out, see how the footage looks. Other than that, I just want to say thank you for watching as always and um, I'll talk to you pretty soon.